Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Srinath Midi. I lead SAP PSA team in North America for AWS. Today I'm joined by Raman. Raman, can you please give a brief introduction of yourself? Sure. Uh, Raman Yousafi, I lead the AWS sales practice at Lemongrass, uh, having joined from AWS about a year back. Uh, Lemongrass is a uh, premier consulting partner of AWS, specializing only on SAP. Uh, we've been moving SAP clients to AWS since uh, about 2010 or so. I'm super excited to talk uh, with Lemongrass on accelerating uh, right journey for our customers. Uh, I want to start by sharing that many thousands of customers are choosing AWS for their SAP RISE workloads because of uh, several reasons, and some of them is like reliability, where uh, uh, you know SAP customers can get uh, the reliability to meet their uh, business goals by leveraging our. Uh, um, global infrastructure which includes at least three availability zones in every region and we also help them to use uh, to meet recovery point objective of zero which means uh, there is no data loss to our customers when they're running rise workloads on aws in addition to that we also deliver greater performance for these rise workloads by using our uh, nitro system uh, on, on on top of our uh, amazon ec2 instances in addition to that uh, we uh, uh, security is top priority at AWS, and we have more than 143 uh, security compliance and standards for our uh, um, AWS uh, platform. In addition to that, uh, for for this workloads that require more security requirements, for example, SAP NS2, we have been supporting SAP NS2 three times longer than any other hyperscaler that's out there. And the last one is sustainability. And I want to share how SAP is using uh, our AWS Graviton-based instances to meet their sustainability goals. For example, earlier this year, uh, SAP has announced that uh, their SAP HANA cloud is powered by AWS Graviton 3 chips, uh, which helps them to reduce uh, the power consumption and also increase their price per performance, helping them to meet their sustainability goals sooner. So with that, uh, I want to ask you, since you work with many large customers and help them in their uh, rise migration journeys, what are some of the challenges that you are hearing from these customers? Sure, uh, happy to share. Um, these are some insights we've gathered by working backwards from our customers over the last year and a half, two years, as they've been uh, starting to embark on the RISE journey. So a uh, big point that, that keeps coming up with us is that um, RISE is often seen, the move to RISE on, on uh, AWS is often seen as part of a big S4 transformational journey. Uh, big S4 transformations for large enterprise customers typically take years. Uh, millions of dollars. The business case is a board level business case. It takes a long time to put together. And what we're helping customers do in 2024 is not necessarily wait to do all that. Don't, don't wait three years to put that business case together and embark on that journey, but rather start uh, small pieces at a time. Start by migrating workloads today into the RISE tenant and perhaps use some of the savings uh, from that migration with from SAP and AWS to then enable the the second part of the digital transformation. Uh, the other theme that I've seen emerged over the past year is that, of course, uh, not every SAP application runs on RISE today. Yeah. Uh, S4HANA, of course, is, is the basis, <clears throat> but many SAP legacy applications either have to be uh, get to the point in which uh, they run within the RISE tenant uh, or will not, will, will be sunsetted and replaced. Um, also, as uh, we all well know, SAP environments have a lot of SAP add-on applications. Uh, we call them SAP adjacent applications that inherently will not on RISE, not run uh, on RISE. So a lot of the questions that we get are, in order for us to make this, this bold move to RISE on AWS, what do we need to know to move all of that together, including the dependencies and so on, and then manage it afterwards? And then I'll share a third one uh, that also is a common theme. I see this especially with manufacturing customers, especially with customers who have large global single instances, is the planned downtime. Uh, you know, typically a large uh, technical cutover takes a matter of days. You know, yeah. Sometimes it's on a holiday weekend, it's, it's over the end of the year. 
and a lot of customers that have been running these environments and then maybe not doing a lot of work on them since they went live a decade or two back are very concerned that they can't take three, four days of factory shutdown time. Um, and this is where Lemongrass is helping using our patent pended uh, LCP migrate technology to really shrink that technical downtime window to enable them to make the move to rise sooner rather than later. Got it. Now, those are some real challenges that I see that, uh, you know, customers are going through and then looking for help. I would like to hear from you on how Lemongrass is uh, uh, addressing this challenge. You know, how do you uh, solve these for customers? Sure. So let, let's, uh, let's take the path to kind of follow in the customer's footsteps through the journey. So first path uh, that we see our customers ask of us is advisory. Uh, how do we do this? What do we need to know? Maybe they've spoken to SAP already, maybe they're, maybe they're engaged in, in uh, figuring out their, their SAP journey via the RISE bomb, uh, where we help with advisory services in the same elastic manner that AWS provides the cloud platform is small bit at a time. So we start with us maybe with a four, six weeks consulting engagement, not a you know year-long process, uh, just to learn what the operating model looks like, uh, how will they get there, how will they do the migration, the SAP portion, the non-SAP portion, how will they build the technical business case, uh, meaning the, the TCO of running this environment on, on Ryzen native on AWS versus on-prem, and also how do they do this with minimal change, that, that last bit that I put down here, is we just want to get to Rise and then go from there. How do we do that minimally today? So this is what we help with. Uh, like I said, we do it in a very small package initially, and then as the customer needs to dive deeper and into areas like security or FinOps, of course, we go deeper into that. Uh, once the customer has a sense of what the path will look like, uh, sometimes they go away and come back a few months later, sometimes immediately after, we talk about the migrate. How do we get there? So this is the uh, RISE tenant on AWS. Uh, we can migrate the environment directly into the RISE tenant. Uh, important point here is that you don't need to be on S4 HANA. We can migrate ECC to suite on HANA within RISE just to get you started in that RISE journey. All the non-RISE SAP portion will sit here in an adjacent native tenant. And then, of course, the non-SAP stuff. Um, and then we'll also help on how, how to operate all this in the steady state. Uh, for the migrate, uh, the governance and the day-to-day -day is very critical. Uh, we have experience in doing these migrations in parallel, again, whether it's S4 to S4, whether it's ECC, uh, maybe you're doing a Unicode conversion that you haven't done yet in the process, maybe it's a big Indian, little Indian conversion, but we create a cohesive approach to do that migration into RISE as quickly as possible. Uh, following the journey further, we move on to operate. Again, now you're running the RISE environment in the RISE tenant, managed by SAP, of course. Uh, what do you do with the adjacent environments? This is something where, again, we provide a, a kind of single pane of glass from a management perspective to, to help customers re realign their workforce, if you will, whether it's partners or internal resources. Uh, additionally, we also enable them to take advantage of cloud elasticity using RISE Flex. Uh, this, this was a specific ask from a few large customers, which was, how do we use the cloud elasticity to spin up SAP environments very quickly in, in a matter of hours, which we do with LCP uh, platform, uh, do some testing, do some discovery, do uh, kind of figure out what we need to do to then migrate those applications to RISE. So again, we're accelerating the move to RISE by enabling some of that cloud elasticity on the native tenant. And then the last part is, uh, the back-end ticket management. So now we're on RISE, maybe we have a managed services partner, maybe it's internal. How do we manage the environment in a cohesive fashion? That's where our Lemongrass Cloud Platform single pane of glass comes in to enable that and then facilitate it for our customers. Um, and then the last part of the journey, of course, is the innovate part. This is the, the sexy part of the journey that everybody looks for. Um, how do we take advantage of the many BTP services that SAP provides? Um, which are very differentiated from an AWS perspective by history and experience and availability in different regions. And then uh, for non-SAP data, for some of the areas where we need cloud native services, how do we leverage AWS as differentiated, for example, AI and data capabilities? Uh, that's, uh, we consult on that as well. That's after the first three steps have been completed. So 
uh, I hope that's a good summary of kind of what we see as the customer journey. To no, this is amazing. I really like uh, how you are solving from advisory into migrate and operate and innovation. Uh, thank you for uh, sharing, uh, you know, more details on it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, as we summarize and then conclude our video here, I would like you share any call to action sure. for our uh, viewers here. Yeah, happy to. We'll, we'll put our uh, uh, contact information at the end of the video. Uh, please feel free to reach out to me directly. Uh, I'm happy to, to discuss any of this in as much depth as we need and then figure out how we can help you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Again, uh, please reach out uh, you know, if you want to learn more about uh, helping you with your ride journey to AWS with Lemongrass. Thank you for uh, watching this video.